I'm assuming you guys, like I said, you guys have the Warriors and Celtics in the finals, but uh, who do you guys have winning and who's your finals MVP? I know it's a little early, but who's your finals MVP and who do you got winning it all? I got I got the Celtics winning it all. I got the I got the Celtics in seven because I think this is gonna this is gonna be a, a, bl- a bloodbath, man. And the re- the reason I got the Celtics, is I think that they're really big, man. I mean, you know, play they they got players like Marcus Smart. They got players uh, they got players like like Grant Williams. Uh, they they are a big team. They are really uh, especially at the guard position, and they are extremely good uh, extremely good defensive team. Mm-hmm. And then also on uh, to answer your other question as far as. MVP, I think that will go to our boy Jason Tatum because I think he's just gonna step up as the as, as like how we said in Game Seven, so, you know, kind of to wrap the like you know bring wrap the whole episode around. Man, in the beginning we talked about Game Sevens and how the the the, the, the play the best players are gonna rise to that occasion. Man, I think Jason Tatum is gonna rise to that occasion and and uh, and take that Game Seven, which will ultimately give him the the MVP. Yeah, I I, I think. Um... Yeah, it's it's so it's so far away, but I think the mm-hmm. Warriors are going to win it um, in in six or seven. I'll, I'll go with seven in that. I think it's to be close, close, tight series. But I just think the weapons of the Golden State Warriors are, are just just too immense. If they're on, they they're able to control the the turnovers and limit them. I think there's not many teams or any teams in the league who can compete with them. Their ability to swish um, defensively and then to 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 be able to run that to a system. And then if, if you're going to attack one player, you just have too many weapons. Like I said, with Jordan mm-hmm. Poole, Clay Thompson, and then you, you have the ability to, to put Kavon Looney to match the bigs there. And then, or, or if um, you want it, some athleticism, you throw in uh, Otto Porter Jr. And Jonathan Kaminga. So I just think they have a lot of versatility and options um, that the Celtics will be able to, won't be able to hang up with it, but it's going to be a tough, gritty series and then they get it done it's 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 time for first for if if they're able to win that series if they they're able to win the series Stephen Curry has to be the best player in that series and he gets it done the Warriors get it done he'll be the finals MVP so that's that's my prediction well and the only thing that Curry hasn't done yet in his career has gotten the finals MVP so if he got a finals MVP I think a lot of people would like or even respect him more right because he's always been kind of known to where the three championships that he won the one was Iggy and the other two times was Durant so if he can finally win that finals MVP that's going to put him I'm not sure he's definitely a Hall of Famer that might actually put him in the top five among all-time point cards that might be a little bit a stretch but that's definitely going to put him in the top five 